Here's something that I saw on 8-Bit Guy's channel and it's of particular interest because I've got a lot of things that have been affected by the sun. Um, the old plastics from like the 80s and 90s very often will turn a kind of yellowy orange with sunlight on them for many years and for example these two mice. This mouse isn't too bad but it's got some discoloration and this other one is... <laughs> yeah. So the idea is to use hydrogen peroxide and you put that on a cloth and you put it all over the mice and then you cover them tightly in clear plastic wrap. So then you put them out in the sun, believe it or not, for about say four hours and apparently they come up quite well. So I'm going to try that and see what happens. So I've already put some clear wrap there and I'm going to now pour some of this hydrogen peroxide on here and then Rub away and cover it all and then uh, wrap up in this stuff and that'll be the first one done. I'll do the same to the other one. There we go, that's both of them done and wrapped up tight. So now hopefully the sun will stay out for about four hours. Well I put the mice out but uh, not having much luck here. Might be a rubbish day. But at least I can see what happens when it is a rubbish day compared to good sunlight. Right, it's half an hour later and it's sort of hazy sunny as you can possibly see and the idea now is to turn these by 90 degrees uh, scrub along them to make sure they're still covered well and tightly and what have you and then uh, keep turning them around by 90 degrees until about four hours is up come back out every half hour well it's several hours later now of course it was cloudy before but I think this right hand one, the one that was, was really yellowed, has changed colour. I'm going to have to uh, compare them side by side, the pictures. I'll do that now. Alright, this is the next day and I noticed something yesterday was... I wonder if you can see this. Uh, yes, possibly. There's some lines. Now, if this creases up, in particular place like say there in half an hour's time if I move that out of the way there might be a lighter line than the rest of it which seems to say that it would be working better if there was a small amount of space and I can consider that as true because if you look there say then you've got the evaporation uh, that's forming on the surface so what it seems to mean is that when it's all pushed tight and flat it's not working as well and it's not allowing the vapours to work. So what I've done is, a bit like Blue Peter, I've got what used to be a salad kind of bowl and I've put some hydrogen peroxide in there. I'm now going to take this out, put it into the box, put the lid on and see how that works. So there we are now in the box and uh, hopefully there'll be a couple of angles where you can see differences perhaps in the top and bottom parts of the mouse. The top part was always discoloured and uh, well, we'll see if this does anything. And here it is after that extra day in that uh, slightly different process. Um, the sides have sorted out pretty well. They're pretty much the same now, um, the bottom part to the top part. And in contrast to this other one, which itself turned out quite well with the process, this is obviously much, much brighter. I do still have those lines though, um, but I kind of like them, they're <laughs> a bit different. Uh, so the end process of all this is supposed to be that you put some clear coat on, a couple of co coats of clear coat, and that will protect it from changing in the future again. Um, but yeah, this is a great process, and it does work. Alright, thanks for watching.